When I was at school, my teachers missed two vital things about me that they should have picked up, but they didn't. And I can't help thinking now that if they had picked up these things, it would have changed my life. So let me tell you about it. So I left school quite a long time ago. And since then, I've discovered a couple of things about myself that I really hoped that school teachers would have picked up on. After all, you know, their job is to try to discover stuff about us as children and you know, discover our interests, discover our le level of education, intelligence, whatever. But the two things they missed, number one, they never realised that I actually have an IQ of 151. It puts me in the top 2% of most intelligent people on the planet, meaning I am more intelligent than 98% of the people who populate the earth. Now, you'd think that's something that the schools might pick up on, because that's something that would be, you know, quite nice to know about myself, but the schools completely missed it, and it was only maybe 15 years after leaving school that I actually took a test off my own back, took an IQ test, then took the official Mensa test, where you're supervised in a classroom, and realised I have an IQ of 151, and I joined Mensa. But you would think something like that is something that schools should pick up on. You'd think school teachers would be would be trained to notice these things, you know. But um, and again, things may have changed by now. You know, we're talking we're talking the, the 1980s when when I was at school. And okay, perhaps things have changed now. But the fact that you can go through your entire school life with what is bordering on a genius intelligence and the school never picked up on it. All that I ever got in my school reports were notes saying that Jason can be bright when he puts his mind to it but if he's not interested in the subject then he doesn't try. And yeah, I can see that now. I can see that's a fair comment. If, if I'm not being mentally stimulated by what I'm being taught or the way that information has been presented to me, then yes, I'm probably going to switch off. You know, and I appreciate that school lessons have to be accessible, so they have to kind of di direct them at everybody. You know, they, ca they can't go in too highbrow. They have to, they have to cover all levels of children that are being taught. But. You, know, you just would have thought it's something that they, that they could have picked up on. Because, to be honest, if I'd known about it when I was younger, it would probably give me a lot more confidence. Because it's it's not very good when your school reports say you don't try. And I, I can remember that my you know my parents would would uh, would have a go at me for not trying. They say, well, you know, you, are you just lazy. Why, why are you not trying? You're supposed to put more effort in. So I was actually being being punished for the fact that I wasn't being stimulated by by the lessons because apparently they were being presented at too low a level for my intelligence which sounds big headed I don't I don't mean it to sound big be I don't mean it to sound big headed but that, that's that's just the reality of it if if the lesson is being directed at a certain level of people you're going to get bored you're not going to be stimulated by it it's nothing no you know, nothing, I, I could, nothing I could do about it but um so that was the one thing, and the other thing they didn't pick up on, and, and although some of this is recent recent developments really, is they didn't pick up on the fact that I have an introvert personality. And again, this is something that never really gets talked about in schools, the fact there are introverts and there are extroverts, and there are people who work well in groups and want to be around people, and there are people who are happier to be by themselves, just working away on their own thing. And again, it's something that I've discovered recently and depend on how much value you put in these classifications but I found myself to be an INTP personality type which basically means uh, an introvert intuitive so I'm, I'm I'm obviously a thinker but I prefer to be by myself I prefer to be working away by myself I, I, I don't want to be in a team I don't want to have to talk to other people when I'm when I'm working. I just want to knuckle down and, you know, do stuff by myself, focus on doing things my own way. 
so so again that's something that that schools never pick up on which in the schools you're always just treated as one big group of everybody similar you know you're all uh, you're all forced to work in pairs you're all forced to work in little groups you're all forced to partake in team sports even if you don't like team sports i mean i personally don't get me wrong i'm i'm a fit person but i've never been a sports person and i certainly never wanted to be in, in team sports but again it's something you're just forced into it's just this thing of forcing everybody together and you see it now in in the work environment as well you, you get companies start having these team building exercises cause it's all about teams all about teams it's treating everyone as an extrovert and it completely completely alienates the people who just want to who are introverts and they just want to be by themselves and work away it's almost like no sod it we don't recognize we don't recognize you you know you you have to change you you have to change to fit in if, if you want to work by yourself then as long as we force you into team building exercises suddenly you're going to become an extrovert and want to be working around other people well it doesn't work like that if you're an introvert you're an introvert and again if i'd known more about that at school if that had been sort of picked up then it could have affected my my career path i could have chosen a career where i'm more able to work by myself and not have to deal with other people all the time i mean i hate it if i'm if i'm trying to do a job and i'm constantly having to email people or phone people up or ask people about this or ask people about that it drives me mad i just want to sit down and I say, right, there's the solution. That's what I need to achieve. And I wouldn't just be able to sit down and work towards that solution without having to keep ringing people and have constant meetings, which I know some people love. Some people were professional meeting goers. You know, they, they spend all day in eight hours worth of meetings and then they go home thinking they had a productive day because they've just talked to a load of people about stuff. Well, I'm, I'm not like that. I just want to be able to sit down and get on so, again, that's something that I would have liked the school to have picked up on. I would have liked them to have known that and told me that so that I could have, say, moulded my career around that understanding of my personality. And it would have probably meant that I'd be a lot happier now rather than being in a career where I tend to get very disillusioned about it. So, anyway, that's, that's just my thoughts. And don't get me wrong, I, I don't mean this to be a criticism of, of teachers. You know, I'm, like I say, teachers have to try to accommodate everybody in the class, so they've obviously got a difficult job to do. But you just wish these things could get picked up. You just wish you knew about these things on leaving school. Anyway, that's my thoughts. If you found this video useful, uh, please give it a like, please subscribe, and leave any comments. If you've got thoughts on this, please leave a comment, and I look forward to hearing about it. Until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.